Welcome back to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. It just doesn't seem possible that the end of the year is coming up here. It is already October 5th. Fall is in the air. It was in the 40s this morning and last week at our grocery store the big cases of pumpkins were delivered and posters are up all over town about the Rocky Horror Picture Show at, at the Bainbridge Performing Arts and phones ringing from people who want to lose weight before the holidays and clients are talking about how am I going to make it through the holidays and not put on weight and I was reminded in, in one session this morning about a <clears throat> article that that I read yesterday in WebMD about winter holidays and upset stomachs and it says the holidays are cruel to our stomachs between October and January our stomachs endure a lot Halloween candy ladle after ladle of gravy one too many flutes of champagne we pay for that overeating ending many holiday nights bloated stomachs roiling with a nightcap of antacid and here's how the holidays make us sick large portions it's simple. The more food you cram into your stomach, the more pressure on your esophageal sphincter, the muscle that keeps digested food down where it belongs. When the pressure is great enough, food and acid will back up, causing heartburn. Too much food can also slow down your whole digestive system, leading to stomach aches and constipation. Rich foods. Holiday foods are generally high in sugar and fat, both cause weight gain and added over a few months that excess weight can trigger upset stomach. Fat is an immediate problem since it slows down the digestion and can trigger reflux. Other foods, to know, other foods known to cause reflux include chocolate, coffee, alcohol, mints, and acidic foods. Lack of fiber. Think of your favorite holiday food it probably isn't bran flakes. That's part of the problem. Fiber tends to be missing from the holiday dinner table. Low fiber holiday foods can really stop you up and lead to constipation, especially all that cheese and all that stuff. Holiday stress. Stress triggered by mall shopping, cooking, cleaning, travel and family conflict can cause upset stomach and heartburn. On top of that, many people cope with stress by overeating and drinking too much. And then they have six tips to prevent heartburn and upset stomach during the holidays. The key is to be self-aware. You need to plan ahead and stay conscious of how you're eating. You know, I'm always talking about conscious eating. First one they recommend is make trade-offs. Accept that you'll indulge during the holidays. Everybody does. Just do it strategically. Think about what you most want and plan for it. If what you really love about Thanksgiving dinner is your mother's stuffing, go ahead and have a second helping, but decide not to have a second helping of the potatoes and the pie and everything else. You know, when, when I go to holiday events, I'll have uh, some of the special foods, but I'm going to skip stuff that I eat every day, perhaps the potatoes or maybe salad or something like that, that I eat on a daily basis. Uh, Thanksgiving comes once a year, so I'm going to have some dress, dressing and, and perhaps more of that than, than other foods because it comes once a year and it's a single meal. Second one they have is compensate. If you know that you'll be eating a lot of fatty food at holiday parties this week, compensate by healthy eating at lunch. High fiber vegetables and grains will help you keep your GI tract working normally. Or what I talk a lot about with clients is following uh, Mary's diet. Uh, for two or three days before the holiday events and two or three days after. And if you go to uh, hypnosishealthinfo.com and look in the articles under weight loss, you'll see Mary's Mini Diet and more Mary's Mini Diet. And it's a 10 pounds in 10 days type of program. Uh, it's dull, it's boring, it's quick, it's simple, it's easy, but it's also a way to create balance in your life. So go check out the article and tuck that away in your memory bank as a tool of how to create balance around the holidays. Number three is eat consciously. Starting at Halloween and ending on New Year's, you're going to be surrounded by treats. At least be aware of when you're eating them. You don't want to dip your hand absent-mindedly into every bowl of candy you come across. And I've been surprised at how many people I hear talking about already having Halloween candy out in candy bowls uh, in their house. 
eat slowly is number four. It's good advice year round, but it's especially important now. Eating slowly can really make a difference. It will help the stomach empty better and suppress the appetite. You won't want to overeat as much if you eat slowly. Number five, limit alcohol. On its own, alcohol can irritate the GI tract and trigger heartburn. It also lowers your defenses, increasing the chances you'll make bad food choices. And number six, move. After the pumpkin pie, don't stretch out on the couch. You're bound to get heartburn and acid reflux if you do. Instead, go for a short walk. In general, try to keep up a regular exercise plan during the holidays, at least as well as you can amidst the chaos. And the one that I think they're missing, and to me the most important one, is put self-hypnosis to work. And it's very simple, quick, and easy to learn how to use self-hypnosis, how to give yourself suggestions, take yourself deeply relaxed. And it's all about you taking control of you. Instead of the Halloween candy being in control, or the dressing, or the pumpkin pie, or all the Christmas candy, and the cheese logs, and the eggnog, and all that stuff having control, and the stress having control, it's about you learning to take control of the trance you're in and get out of those overeating trances, those candy trances, the fat, the sugar trances, the stress trances, getting back, present conscious in your body, aware of your seat in the chair, aware of your breath, your feet in the floor, and being at choice, eating when you're hungry, eating slowly, eating consciously, and stopping eating when your body says enough, no more. You know, and, and you can try some of the special foods. You can try some of the holiday desserts. But the reality is, you know, after you've had a bite or two, the rest of it's not going to taste any different. No matter how good it is, it's not like it's going to taste any better. So enjoy a bite or two and then be done with it. Be satisfied with that. And that's all very easy to do with self-hypnosis. And if you look here at Hypnosis Health Info, up in the orange toolbar, you'll see the word self-hypnosis. And the first drop-down tab is the light switch self-hypnosis that teaches you how to take yourself deeply relaxed, bring yourself back up in a minute. The next one is written suggestions, which tells you how to give yourself suggestions. The third one is power minutes, which are my one to four minute MP3 downloads that you can use with self-hypnosis. And the final one is uh, hypnosis suggestions. It's all the suggestions, there must be a thousand or so of them there that I've used for the last three years in my daily blog posts. And you're welcome to use them word for word, but they're really there to, to stimulate your thinking on how to word your own suggestions. Now, if I can support you in your journey of making it through the holidays, give me a call, 206-903-1232, or send me an email, roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com. And if you live too far away from my office here in Bainbridge or my office in downtown Seattle in the Medical Dental Building, then uh, give me a call, send me an email, and together you and I can create a telephone and Skype program to support you and your goals of making it through the holidays. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Hypnosis Health Info.